Hi everybody, it's Chrissy Kelly from Absent, and today must be day 26 um, of Smell Training Live, so uh, I hope that you have been with me every single day, but if you haven't, you can go back and listen to all of the daily live smell training events, um, both here in the Instagram feed, as well as find them on YouTube. Um, as you know, I've been doing this every day in conjunction with the University of Stockholm's uh, smell training research uh, program that they're doing. If you are taking part in that, thank you very much. Um, they're trying to learn more about um, how we smell train and uh, not really so much about outcomes, but you know, how do people use smell training to help themselves? So if you would, uh, if you're new to that concept and you haven't heard about it yet, you can go to smell training app.com and sign up and log your progress and your experiences every day. So thank you very much if you participate in that. So today I've got four um, citrus essential oils to train with and I'd like to talk to you in between a little bit about, um, you know, if you want to make your own kit and you want to use essential oils. So um, I've got orange, lemon, grapefruit and lime today. So let's get started. Um, hi, everybody that's joined. I can see you all there. I can see your names in the feed. Um, so I'm going to start with the orange. And I'm going to put my nose right down to the jar and take some little sniffs. Mm. Just little sniffs. Just just enough to, to get up into the place uh, in our upper airway where the smelling happens. And then I'm pausing for a bit and taking some breaths. This is uh, essential oil of orange. So it is the oil that comes out of the orange peel and it's that classic smell that you get when you peel an orange. And that's where there's a much more intense aroma associated with the, with the peel as is as you get from the actual flesh of the orange. This essential oil of orange has a really kind of lovely floral aspect to it. Good, so that's number one done. Um, I've been in my mind um, thinking about oranges, thinking about the texture of the orange peel. You know that, you know, when you peel an orange, sometimes you see like that spray of orange oil that comes off the skin of the orange when you, when you peel it. And, just thinking about that and really being immersed in the experience of an orange. Um, I'm now moving on to lemon. This is essential oil of lemon rather than our the, the lemon that comes in the kit. Um, and I want, as soon as I finish this jar, I want to talk to you a little bit about essential oil of citrus fruits. So I'm getting getting my jar open. Now, what's really interesting, this jar, I made this probably three months ago. And what I notice, because I'm familiar with the different smells involved with um, oxid oxidation of, of essential oils with uh, that are of citrus fruit, I can tell that this essential oil has oxidized and kind of taken on an unpleasant, musty smell. But that doesn't matter. I'm going to keep sniffing it. There's nothing harmful about that. But it, this is a good time to mention that, especially with citrus, these essential oils do oxidize, they do go off, and that means you have to change them out quite regularly. And it, for those of you who are not familiar with our instructions on making your own kits and things, um, if you do want to rinse your jars out, this is what you have to do. You want to put boiling, throw away whatever is inside, put boiling water in the jars, just rinse them out, don't use soap, just rinse them out with boiling water. Let them dry thoroughly, drying them thoroughly is key because what you don't want to do is mix essential oil of anything with any sort of dampness in the jar, so 24 hours minimum to dry. And the this is like this little cardboard disc in the top 
Um, and if that gets saturated with water, it can take a very long time to dry out. So I would say at the very maximum, just a, a little wipe of the of the lid would be enough to, to do you. Um, and just, just give everything a good 24 hours to dry out. Then replace um, your uh, absorbent paper, whatever it is that you use um, in the bottom. I'm not really a fan of cotton balls and I'm really not a fan of those cosmetic pads. Um, they're made of cotton, of course, but they're full of little fibers that can trap bacteria. And of course, that's a fast way to, to have your essential oils go off. So I'll be changing this out um, after I've finished smell training today. Um, and now I'm going to move on to grapefruit. Definitely. Now you see, I train with, uh, with citrus oils all the time, and I know they're quite samey. But if you do it for a long time, you immediately know the difference between them. I love the smell of grapefruit. <coughs> Excuse me. But this one has also oxidized, so I'm going to switch out all of them. It's still strong, but it's not quite as pleasant, and it has this kind of musty overtone. And finally, lime. That one smells pretty good. Smells good. Lots of little bunny sniffs, some good concentration there. You really want to put yourself, uh, you want to close your eyes, shut out everything else, and try and imagine the things that you're smell training with. If you can't do that, don't forget, well, I've mentioned this in other broadcasts before, there are ways, things to do if you really can't conjure up a smell. Right, um, so that's today's smell training. Um, I told you about the when, what happens when essential oils of citrus oxidize, so do be careful about that. Do be careful when you wash out your smell training kit that you make sure it's really, really dry. And that's kind of the public service announcement and the smell training for today. Thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow. Um, for the last couple of days, we will be going up until, oh dear, I can't do the math in my head, but we're going to be doing 28 days altogether, and I will be with you every day until then. So thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.